welcome to Virtual Tarot, a dear Aries for the month of August. I'm Ava. And I am Trudy. As you can see, we are coming at you from the tarot cave this month. And the very bowels of the earth. It's nice and cool down here. Yes. Works well because we do read for every sign in the universe and the multiverse and exactly where we are right now, which is the subterranean cavities of the earth. I love it down here. We're, we're splunkers. We are with spelunkers. Splunkers. It's splunker. Isn't it splunker? It's spelunker. Spelunker? Watch us disagree on camera. It's Spel spelunker. Spelunker and not splunker? <laughs> what is it, Eddie? Is it spelunker? S P E? Yes. S P E? Spelunker. E. You forgot the E. Spelunker. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. Anywho, we're, we're in the cave. We're That's all you need to know. We're from the cave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Aries, how about that? All right, so first of all, I want to point out that I have a tarot necklace on, as you can see. Can so you believe good. this? Wait. I'm just telling you right now, if you do something all the time, people actually give you gifts that have to do with what you do, and I actually get <laughs> things like this from people. people I imagine. think it's gorgeous. Isn't it lovely? I got it from a dear, dear friend. So, um, what do we do here at Virtual Tarot? We do a four-card spread every month. And this month, we're doing it for you, Aries, Aries rising, Aries moon, and Aries sun. So please check out your rising and your moon signs as well. Um, so the first card represents the overall energy of the month of August for you. And the second card represents challenges. And the third card uh, is the unexpected. And then the fourth card is the outcome some spiritual advice and counseling and then we'll send you on your way and wish you luck until the month of September. Um, okay, so you ready to do a little recap for I'm ready Aries? to recap. Last month's recap for Aries in the month of July, which we are in currently. Yes. And Ava? First card. Was. Was. Go ahead. The High Priestess. Reversed. So, what does this tell us? Aries, this tells us that you probably need to pay a little bit more attention to that small inner voice. Um, and you are Aries, if you're Aries' son. Um, that means that maybe a little slowing down um, needs to uh, come into play this month. Um, because as you move ahead uh, without too much thought, um, there may be things happening that are not in your favor or um, spiritually uh, going to help you. Uh, I think it's just kind of turning off uh, higher spiritual counsel, your own higher spiritual counsel. Um, so just a little warning to maybe slow down a little bit and yeah. Some, tune something in. Something is trying to tell you something. Yeah. I know, in other words, you're, you're feeling you know something, but you're really not paying attention to your intuition. That's all it is. Slow down, tune in. Yeah. Second card, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Reversed? Reversed. Aha. Uh -huh. In the position of challenge. So, uh, He's cute, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the Page the of Pentacles. <laughs> yes. I love the page. He is. He's so cute. Um, so it is trying to begin something on a practical level and not being really quite able yet to do it. So or your challenge is not having the skills yet. Not having those yeah, not having the proper skills to initiate um, a new project, a new plan of action, a new a new um, uh, project. Yeah, it can also sort. be a bad money message too. It's like Yes, or not getting the job. Yeah. And maybe your challenge is to deal with that. Mm -hmm. uh, not uh, Maybe you've applied for a job and, and you really don't know um, what's going on with it. Yeah, it's a new new job. Yeah, yeah. So it could be a new yeah. job. And then we had in the next position another reverse, inverse <laughs> card for you. So This is a month of reversal. Yeah, our actually. producer said hey, if you stand on your head this month, it's going to look really darn good. Which kind of goes back to that high priestess, yeah, I yeah. have to say. If you yeah. stand on your head and tune in, this month could turn out just right. But we had the Eight of Pentacles again reversed. 
unexpected. So you're a little overwhelmed uh, by um, all your uh, work. Yeah, it's one needs. thing after another. Yeah, it's one thing after the other. So you're constantly yeah. having to pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. and, and you might even be a little bored with it. Either bored or overwrought. Because usually this is a card of, of uh, inspiration in doing that which you love. So, and then in the last position, we had the Seven of Cups. Reverse, which is good in reversal. Yeah, that's true. It is. It's better. It's better. Yeah, so, yeah. you come out of, a, out of a state of fantasy and illusion, and uh, you really start to uh, make more practical uh, choices for right. yourself. So all those possibilities, maybe you're seeing less as a, a possibility. Right. Which so, is good, and I think we're ready because that would be last month's recap, and we are ready to read the new month of August. And I'm going to cut the cards. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Spontaneous. All of this is happening in the moment there in is. the tarot cave. In the tarot cave. So yes. Let's see yes. What comes up? Okay, so we're going back to uprights this month, Aries. I am very relieved. Yes, me too. <laughs> this is good. And we came up with a really nice card spirit, gave you the eight of cups in the upright. And if you are learning to read with us, Aries, cups is all the ground part. Um, that which feeds you emotionally. And so this month, you're headed out. And you've already built a community, uh, something that makes you feel pretty darn good. Um, Friendships, loving relationships. Yeah, things um, that fulfill you and you. On you've, an emotional right? level. Right, and yeah. maybe they're fulfilling others as well. But you're ready to actually go Leave. off and, and create some more someone, of this. Someone once uh, emailed us in response to their interpretation in their life from, uh -huh. from this card. Oh, cool. And uh, they were saying that they had some very dear friends that they had made in a particular area, but a job had come uh, up in yeah. another uh, part of the country and they had to move, and they regretted so much having to leave behind such dear friends. Right. But they had to go because the job promised them higher ground. Right. That is, more more um, realization of their career potential, mm -hmm. so they had to pursue it. Mm -hmm. So that gives you a good example. I like the promise aspect of this yes. card as well, because it is a promise. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful card. In the next position. So it might be a little bit heartbreaking to, yeah. to leave what you've, you've created behind you, but the prospect of something better mm -hmm. is uh, promised by I the do card. love that. So in the next position, what do we have? I like this position. It's a position of challenge, and we have... Oh, this is wonderful in reverse, too. It's a good card. It's the Four of Cups, another cup card. Yeah. And the right. Four is all about emotional stability to the point where you really don't need anyone else or anything else, and you may actually check out a little bit and become unavailable. But in the inverse, you're warming. You're warming to a new offer. Um, it could be a new offer of love. It could also just be a, something a that fulfills offer. you. Or a previous offer, too, as well. Could be so a previous so offer. Something that you didn't want before, that mm -hmm. you're reconsidering mm -hmm. your challenges to really think about that. To go back to that network. To, to yeah. go back to that offer mm -hmm. and to really um, see if your heart is in it. It could be a... a friend group too because we have the three of cups preceding this which is, are these three women who are communing together mm -hmm. and so you might be if you're moving or moving away from a situation there's a bit of your challenge is to go back yeah. to that which is familiar and makes you feel great yeah your friends you know or um there's you see the gentleman has his arms folded in front of his chest. This is this is a gesture where you you resist something. Mm -hmm. You're resisting. So when it's when it's reversed, that un, you undo that resistance mm -hmm. and you no longer have 
the resistance that you had previously to an offer, to an idea, to a to a, a, a person even. It could even represent love. Mm -hmm. That somebody might have offered love to you and you didn't want it. Maybe you were bored by it. Maybe you thought that it wasn't a part of your... Um, it didn't fit in. Mm -hmm. But now it, you, you might be challenged to see how that actually can fit in. Aww. So So sweet. Yes. What a loving, loving reading so far. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so we have two cup cards and up in the position of a uh, pops in the position, I should say, of the unexpected. I like this card. It's the nine of wands. It's kind of a funny card if you look at it because you see the guy's got like this big band-aid around his head. And it's all the battles he's had to go through in order to get where he is. Yeah. Um, it's the old fashioned ace bandage wrapped around your forehead. <laughs> and he looks very vigilant, yeah. protecting all that he's created. Yeah. And it's about creation. Yeah, because wands are really about uh, passion, they can mm -hmm. be about career, they can also uh, allude to spirituality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is that which is coming um, forth, okay? So it, it, in this position, it says unexpectedly you are just um, a little battle weary, but you're almost there, which is good with whatever you're doing. Right. And um, so they're walking away. Yeah. And they're walking away from what they've created. Mm -hmm. They're reconsidering an offer that was made to them before, some sort of offer. And here, unexpectedly, you're still guarded. You're a bit guarded. You realize that what you're doing is is um, good, spiritually, creatively, right. intellectually. So, for instance, if, it, if this were, were about career, you would be um, you realize that you've come a long way yeah. within your career. However, you're just still a bit guarded in terms of hey, you know, I'm not going to let it all hang out no. because I'm still trying to climb the ladder, kind right. of thing. But Overall, it was a great card, right? Yeah, look at this. Oh, wow. and another good card. It's a sword card. Now, swords are all about the intellect. Okay. They can also, a sword can represent truth. Um, and it can, you know, mental acuity, uh, that type of thing. But what do we have? We have the six. Okay, so I want to look at this card for a minute because I love this card. It's really one of the best swords cards, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so if you look at this card, what you see is you see this woman, she's in a boat, there's a, what do you call him, a helmsman? Helmsman. She's at her back. Yeah, I mean. There's a child sitting next to her. And, but the really interesting thing I think about this card is that on the right side of the boat, we have this sort of more turbulent water. And on the left side of the boat and off into the distance, we have this very smooth, calm sort of vista. So, I like it. Yeah, because it's, it, you, you know, all, all of these really could actually be moving. If not physically, then psychologically there's a move, a move away from a, a previously disturbing or distressful or dis, discombobulating kind of situation that now, just now, you're... Um, being mentally moved away from mm -hmm. and you have help there are people around you who are on your side who see what direction you should be moving in because mm -hmm. the helmsman gives you direction right and it's and all minor too the, all of this is minor. This yes. month. And also, we have two cards of movement. Okay? Right. So we open with the, the first card, and the Eight of Cups is all about possible movement, right. actually physical Actual or mental. Physical movement. Or the movement of the heart. Movement of the heart and the mind at the and end. And the mind. So your, your mind unites with your heart at the end of the month. That's what it seems to me. Yes. That you are you are one with the decision mm -hmm. because again it's doing what you had thought of doing before but weren't quite ready or didn't see how it would fit mm -hmm. into your life mm -hmm. but somehow now you 
now you know that it it will fit. Yeah. And you make the actual decision mentally to to move to right. make the move. Well, it's quite a different reading than last month because oh last month we had that high priestess reversed. Yes. And this would be our eight of cups card would really represent it's it's the um, hermit really the minor arcana. Mm -hmm hermit card, the willingness to go off and really do some um, soul searching and uh, to maybe do that yeah. solo even. Yeah. You know? Solo. So, yeah. This but, is a really nice four card spread. Oh, I'm so happy for it's you. It's beautiful. And if you would like the fifth card, this reading is not over. No. We have a spiritual counsel card that we offer that uh, you can go to our website and, and uh, check it out and see um, if you would like to... Or just click the link below. Or that would be better. <laughs> it's, a, it's a direct link straight to the fifth card. Right. So. We also wanted to mention that um, we are working on our psychic network. You can go there and read all about it right now. Mm -hmm. However, we uh, will be... Um, allowing you to upload profiles direct from the home page very mm -hmm. soon, so check back. also want to mention Brian Hill. Oh, Brian Hill is our new astrologer. He's uh, joined our little team. Yes. And he will provide for us astrological insight every single month, as uh, the same way you would find in a newspaper or a magazine, um, a little monthly forecast for every one of our little signs. And Brian is really quite uh, a remarkable um, astrologer, and you'll enjoy this. So thanks very much for tuning in, Aries. We're really glad that you are going to have a rock-solid, soulful month. Oh, yes, and maybe a very interesting adventure. Yes. As well. Yes, and possibly accept that offer of love. And maybe a possibly accept the offer of love. So. But you'll be a little guarded, but... Uh, I think that everything is going to be very beautiful at the end of the month. Sure. You ready? Ready. Ready to sign off? Bye-bye.